Hi everybody, it's Professor Mitchell. Today we're starting chapter six. Chapter six is really uh, about continuous probability distributions, but it's mostly about the normal probability distribution. Okay. So in this first section, we are going to uh, start by talking about the uniform distribution. That's probably all you're going to see in this video. And then in part two, you'll see a standard normal distribution. Okay. All right. So uh, here is a little bit of information about the standard normal distribution. It might make a little more sense to talk about this uh, after we get through the uniform distribution. Okay. So um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So start with the uniform distribution. So first of all, a continuous uh, probability distribution, that's a distribution where the outcomes can be really any real numbers between here and here, okay? So like any real number between zero and five, it's the opposite of discrete, okay? Not only can they be whole numbers, but they can be fractions, decimals, whatever. It can uh, take on any number in an interval, okay? So the way that we're going to find these probabilities is uh, not by using formulas. We're actually going to use graphs, and uh, the probability will be the area under a graph, okay? So for the uniform distribution, um, that graph, you're going to see it here in a second, what makes it uniform is that its values are spread evenly over the range of possibilities. So let me, uh, let me do something that I try not to do all that often. We've talked before about what a normal distribution looks like. It has this sort of bell shape and it's symmetric. A uniform distribution is just completely flat across the top. So the values are evenly spread all throughout the interval. Okay, they don't cluster like in the middle or anything like that. Okay, so this is the kind of distribution we're gonna uh, talk about first. And then in part two of the video, we'll talk about this kind, okay? All right, the graph of any continuous probability distribution is called a density curve. So this is a density curve. This is a density curve, okay? Uh, and any density curve must satisfy the requirement that the total area under the curve is exactly one. So this is the continuous version of all your probabilities have to add up to one. Okay. So uh, remember all throughout this chapter that area and probability uh, mean the same thing. So find your probability, you find the area under the curve. Okay. okay, so here's our example for um, uniform distribution. During certain time periods at JFK Airport in New York, passengers arriving at the security checkpoint have waiting times that are uniformly distributed between zero and five minutes. Ha 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 ha. I don't believe that for a second. I have actually been through JFK Airport. All right. Um, I'd have an easier time believing that it's like between 15 minutes and two hours. All right. But anyway. Okay. So this is a picture of your density curve for a uniform distribution that's between zero and five minutes. Okay. It's a rectangle. The only thing I want you to look at right this second are the numbers going from zero to five. Now the waiting time could be any number between zero and five. It doesn't have to be a whole number. It could be 1.2, it could be 0.86, it could be 3.17283, right? That's what makes it continuous. Okay. Now, where did this 0.2 come from? That's what I really need to explain to you. And I think that might be on the next slide. Uh, oh, okay, so this is just what I said a, a second ago. Any value is possible between zero and five. Okay. All right, now we come to the point two. 
by assigning the probability of point two to the height of the vertical line, the enclosed area is exactly one. And why is that? Because the, the uh, width of this rectangle is five, right? From zero to five. And so I need a number that satisfies five times blank equals one because the area of a rectangle is the width times the height. So the number that fills in that blank is 0.2. I need the reciprocal of five, all right? Five times one fifth is one. So by making this value 0.2, you get the area under the rectangle is one. Okay, so now they're ready to ask me a question. Given the uniform distribution illustrated in the figure, find the probability that a randomly selected passenger has a waiting time of at least two minutes. At least two minutes. Okay. Uniform probability problems are really, really easy. Every single one is just finding the area of a rectangle. Okay. So the way that's going to work is I am going to shade the part of the rectangle that is bigger than two. All right, so here are the waiting times down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna color the part of the rectangle, uh, you know, that represents X greater than two. And then I'm gonna calculate the area of that rectangle. It has a width of three, right, from two to five. Five minus two is three and the height is still 0.2. So throughout this problem, the height of the rectangle is always going to be 0.2. So height times width, 0.2 times 3 is 0.6. The probability of this randomly selected passenger waiting at least two minutes is 0.6.